Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this SL house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the toilet, the sink, and then we edited some of the walls and then we added interior walls. Now we're going to continue working on this. Um, let's go in insert and then load family we're gonna load on more of the furnitures so let's go to furniture and then let's start off with seating uh, we have couple of chairs here but what I want to um, load is this chair Gorbo click on open and then type in CM to load it in also if you notice um, we have a chair here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this or edit the family also if you don't have this kind of family in your Revit just check my part 1 description and it will be there uh, uh, probably that's the first link and you'll be able to download all of this all the preset in Revit 2020 so now you can select this edit type and then you need to duplicate so that you don't lose any of the information for the first chair so I'm just gonna put this one at chair number two you it's up to you if you want to change the name so here I'm the, just gonna press OK and then now we could change the width of this so I'm gonna change this to probably around 1500 and let let's see how the spacing looks so from what I'm assuming here I want it to be at least this long so I'm just checking on what this one will take so this is around 2100 so around probably 2500 so here I'm just gonna edit this one again 2500 in terms of depth and height I'm just gonna leave that like that so as you can see we have 2500 and we could just move it using our arrow key from our keyboard so let's just add it like that and I'm happy with how it looks and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load in more of the furniture so here we have the Kerbo sofa so we have the chair we have the sofa and I just like the chair to be elongated like that and then here in terms of the sofa I'm gonna add the sofa like so and then I'm going to change it a little bit like that just to represent that this is a sectional so I'm just going to add it right about here we could even add another sofa so duplicate and then let's make this wider so 2000 so a couple of ways that you could do or edit your sofa like so and then here we could just edit again maybe we could just change this to sofa number two as well so that it has the same width but as a, as a sectional so I'm happy with that and then let's add in a couple of chairs maybe this one will be good enough for the chair here um, if we want it to be angled just hover to one of the angled um, family that you have because most of the time if you press spacebar it will just do 90 degrees but if you notice I'm gonna put this one right above 
the door swing and then it will conform to that angle and then here it will go once you click it it will be fixed on that so now we could just add it like so and then just use this so that we could have the same angle but on the other side so it looks like it's not working out for this so I'm just gonna do this one and then just add it so here we could just delete this and then just move this one like so and then here we could just copy this you can click on multiple if you want to add more but I'm just gonna add it like so I want my family room to have an access to the backyard courtyard so I'll probably have a sliding door right here and then we have an entertainment area here so we're gonna add in on those so now I'm just gonna add in the coffee table so I'm gonna go back and then go to tables and then here we have a coffee table and then type in CM and then here once we add this one there is like I believe two or three um, preset already that we have and as you can see it's easy to change or to edit a coffee table size so here I just want to change how the depth is so here I'm just gonna select edit type duplicate I'm just gonna leave it like that and then here under width I'm just going to put this one 750 press OK and I like it I'm gonna copy the same size so select that CM CS and then here I'm just going to add it like so but I'm going to change the width or the length edit type duplicate and then here 1500 and then if you have a sectional at least it's like that the spacing just gonna add on the other side and then this one looks nice we could just sp space it a little bit more like so and then now let's load in the entertainment system so here go up storage and then we have entertainment center click open and then CM add it right in the wall in order for us to see it better and once we're here we can just check on the width so I'm gonna check the width from here spacebar and then right there and then we have 5530 so I'm gonna I need to remember that and then let's add in a section in order for us to see it I'm just adding the section and then I'm just gonna flip this one so that this side is showing so you can double click here if you want or you need to look it under elevation there will be a section will be created right here if you notice this one is looking backwards so here we could just press spacebar and then now it will look fixed in terms of height I know this is 3000 but once you add a floor and the thickness of the floor is 200 it the floor to ceiling will be 2800 so it's going to minus the height 
or the thickness of the um, floor. So here I'm going to use that information and this information 55, 30, and then 2800. So edit type, duplicate, and then here I'm going to change the width. So the width should be 55, 30, and then the height should be around 2800. In terms of center width, um, we could just put this one because we have it's, this one's too big. So it's like around 2000 is more than enough. And then the depth, I'm going to change this to 500. Press OK. And then we could just align this AL right here at the edge. So now it fix, f fit comfortable. And then at the same time, it's snug right here. Align it at the, again at the wall and like that. Now what the, we're going to do is we're going to load in the, in the TV. So the TV, just go back and then TV flat screen. Click on open, CM. And then let's just put it in the middle like so. Once it's in the middle, you can go back to your section. So just double click. And then we could just move it manually upwards or use a line again so that it's above here. It's perfectly above here. And then here, we can change this to a bigger size if we want to. If it's not big enough, you can edit the dupl or duplicate it again. And then now, diagonally, we can put this one at 1800 because we have 2000 on the on the size of this center. So around 1800, that looks good. It looks fit and it looks nice. And of course, we make sure that everything is thought off. So delete that. And then we can delete this one as well. We don't need it now, maybe later, but in a different angle. And then now let's go here. Um, let's load in family for the dining area. So let's go load. And then this will be, let's add in the table first before anything else. And I would like a rectangular table. Let me see if we can see the glass one. So this one is perfect. And then CM, let's add it right here. And the only thing that I need to change is the depth. So edit, duplicate, and then the depth or width is 762 I'm probably going to put it at 850 and then press OK in terms of length I kind of like the length and it fits and then let's load in so go back to insert load family and let's add in the chair or the seating and mostly I added this chair so M chair briar Click on open, type in CM. What I usually do is just add this one right here. Um, I'm going to increase the dining depth more. I think we could do 1000. Or even 1300. There we go. That looks much better. And then CS, add the same one. I usually add it in one side first. And then 
I just mirror it so that everything looks proper. So, so, if, so uh, for example, I'm going to select that. We'll go to modify. We could use draw axis if we want to. Oops. Select again. Select draw axis. And then make sure you put it on a horizontal. And this one, select all of them while hol holding on control button. And you can also use mirror picks axis because there's an axis right here. And then you can just select that. And as you can see, everything is mirrored and everything looks proper. And then let's load in um, a sliding door. Um, make sure to go to part one description and then it will be the second uh, second link and you can just download all of them I have all of this ones and the one that we're we need is the sliding door so I'm just going to download this and for you guys just download it as well once you download it open it in the folder and then once you open it you can select that and then drop it right here it will be upgraded because it was done or it was saved in 2018 but once upgrade is done you'll be able to add those so for now I'm just going to add it in this this bigger or wider wall and actually I like it here as well so I'm going to add it there and then we're going to create another one but a smaller on this side. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to clean off. I'm going to make this open. There's no inset, inset or so make that zero so that there's no gap. And then click on edit. And then here make the zero gap on all of them and then click apply and then OK so this one is good what we need to do is create another one so edit type duplicate but we need to know what's the width that we want here so here I'm just going to roughly sense it so around 3000 only so select this edit duplicate this will be sliding door number two and then the width should be selected here and then 3000 and then don't worry this will be put back again so cs first add it right here and then select this and put it back on the sliding door number one and then once that's done it's already added there so now we have access to our backyard slash courtyard so we have it right here and then right here so that looks nice um, if we extend this one in the future or later um, what I like to do is to add a pool area right here so only if we um, add those ones so for now just leave it like this it could be grass or whatever you want to add so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe Feel free to comment down below.